Hey everybody, welcome back to Bible Fun with the Nuns. Today we're studying 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5, and let's go ahead and let's get started. Now this is our last reading for 2022. Today we wrapped up not just the, the book of 1 Thessalonians, but our yearly reading plan. So at the beginning of the year, we began to look at our Bible reading, not as a program, not as a strategy, not as a gimmick, not as a, as a, time, a, a time user. We began to see that our Bible reading is just who we are. At least it's who we ought to be. We want to be people who read the Bible, who study it, who apply it, who live it, and who honor the Lord in it. Now, this Sunday morning, I'm going to preach from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Specifically, if you want to read through those last several verses, beginning at about verse 12 and going toward the end of the chapter, those rapid fire commands, that's where I'm going to be this week. But I thought it would be an interesting way to end our year by looking back through the family and saying, what did we learn about God? What did we learn from the Bible? What did this year mean to us? So, who wants to start us out? Uh, I will. All right, John, what did you learn about? Okay, so my favorite part of this series reading was how God, he takes care of us whenever and wherever. So, for example, Joseph. He went through all those hard times, like being sold into Egypt uh, and being thrown in prison. God used those hard moments and... Uh, helped him out and like he went from being in prison to being the second most powerful in Egypt and I like that. John do you think your life will always be really easy or will you ever have hard times? I will have hard times. Do you think you can trust God the way Joseph trusted God? Yes. That's good. I think so too and that's what, I, that's what I'm glad you learned this year. Uh, Jax, what about you? What'd you get? Okay, so I really, I really enjoyed reading through uh, the book of Job, and um, this is my first time ever reading this book, and it was way longer than I expected. <laughs> and um, we kind of spent most of our time in Job's sad depression, but then towards the end, Job he remained steadfast and kept uh, his faith in God, and uh, towards the end it paid off um, a lot. And so I really admire Job for. Uh, remaining steadfast in his faith, um, and that's the kind of person I want to be. I like that. Right. Mama, what about you? I had this verse that stood out to me. Um, I get reflective, and then we all talk about the Lord, and so I get weepy too. Um, <laughs> and then they get embarrassed. Um, I can't help but think of the, the Lord's goodness, and the goodness of so you just ruined this year's season. <laughs> the goodness of how he goes before us. Um, this year has been so, so good. But this year has been pretty difficult. Just, um, it hasn't been an easy one. It's been good in our family. But as ministry and in our church family, it's been really difficult. Um, we've had a lot of sickness. We've had a lot of loss. And, you know, you can't separate yourself. We are church family. And so when... The people we love hurt. We hurt with them. We weep with them. And so it's been a year that's been beautiful and hard. And as Jax mentions, um, Job, I can't help but think, though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. And um, as we read through the book of Job, it was really long. It was a lot of weeks. <laughs> um, it was a lot of weeks. And it seemed like something was happening, some catastrophic event within our church family, within the people we love, was happening over and over again. And it, you know, we would um, just be riding the vicissitudes of life. But I saw God's goodness and I saw God's faithfulness and I saw that not one time in the difficulties and in the hard days of life did we have to do it alone. And so um, I've, I've had a lot of verses in my life that mean a lot to me that where God tells me not to fear. Joshua 1, 9 has been like my, since childhood, my claim it verse. Um, but towards the end of the year, this verse was in um, something I was reading and studying and I thought, oh my goodness. And it just kept appearing in different things. And um, the Lord continues to show that this verse is who he is to us. And it's Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. And it says, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear. Do not be dismayed. 
And so I've always studied, Joshua 1, 9 talks about he won't ever leave you alone. He'll always be with you. You don't have to be afraid or scared. But I love the part in the very beginning saying he even goes before us. He is not surprised by what we go through. He's not surprised by one thing that happens in our life. And he is with us through it all. He will take care of us. He prepares us. Um, he's with us before, during, and after continuously, and he will not leave us. And because of that, God has proven his goodness, his trustworthiness. Um, I learn more and more the things that I used to think I had control of. I have no control. I have no control over this. But I'm so thankful that my father is the one who is in control of all of these things. That's good. Jamie? Tell us what God's doing in your life this year. Um, well, he's, like, preparing me to be saved, like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. What so, makes you think that? Yeah. Because, like, I keep having this feeling that, like, I can't stop thinking about it. Okay. So, um, for those of you watching, we talk to our family a lot about what it means to be a Christian and Jebby is not a Christian yet, but he's talking about it and thinking about it. And this year, God is moving in his heart, and he says he's preparing him for probably sometime soon um, following Jesus. And so we're grateful for this year, and y'all keep praying for Jebby. And uh, we're just we're glad to spend this year with you. And we look forward to starting the next plan with you next week. So have a great day, and we'll see you next year. Bye. Bye.